Okay, so this is a presentation on, on taking notes, and it comes from Power Learning. So um, as, as we said, you know, notes are a tool, and what you can do with your notes is you can keep yourself active, actively listening, you can review your notes, you can prep, and you can get to know your teacher's style of, of presentation. So um, all of these, again, make notes a tool, and, and they, they have to fit your style. Um, today we're going to talk about specifically the Cornell method of note taking. And just as Sarah said, you know, learn different different styles of note taking, and then from there you can um, you can figure out which method works best for you. Uh, for me personally, I am I'm an outliner. When I listen um, or when I read, I love to create outlines. Um, real quick story: uh, when I was in my graduate program, I did a, a a master's degree in teaching English as a second language. And it was at a college where we had a, a cohort. And a cohort is a group of students that go through the classes together. There were 31 of us, and 16 of us were from the United States, and 15 were from other countries from around the world. And they were people who wanted to learn to teach English um, in their home countries. So, um, the international students, when we were in our grammar class, they could answer all of the grammar questions. And most of the Americans didn't have any idea about English grammar. Um, one of my professors who I loved, I use his, his uh, line, the read like a writer, write like a reader. Um, that comes from my professor, Mahmoud Arani, and he was from Iran. And uh, he, he was so organized in his presentations, but he just he just talked. And our classes met for three hours, and he would just talk for three hours. Uh, he knew so much. But it was hard for a lot of the international students to take notes because he just kept talking and talking and talking. And so I started bringing my laptop um, to, to my class. And so here are the pros and cons of using a laptop. I started bringing mine because I can type faster than I can than I can write, and I just created outlines from his lectures. Pretty soon, uh, some of my international friends started seeing that I had outlines of his notes, and they started saying, "Hey, can I can I have a copy of that?" And I said, "Sure, I'll I'll email it to you." Uh, when Dr. Arani saw my notes, he actually said. Can I have a copy? <laughs> can I have a copy of those outlines? That way, I can use them as my outline for my lecture in the future semesters. Because it, I mean, he he didn't know it, but his style of lecture was so perfectly organized in in an in an outline format. Um, but it's just how his brain worked. And so, learning your teacher's style and how they present information might require different styles of note-taking for you. Um, we've talked about the outlining before. This is called the Cornell method of note-taking. And we're going to try this one today. And so what you see here is a piece of paper divided into three sections. It, this section right here is about two-thirds of the space. It's not split in the middle. And then this one is about one third. And at the bottom, so this, this is a, a, the size of this is called letter. That's what we use in the United States. And from this side to this side is eight and a half inches. From the top to the bottom is 11 inches. And so this bottom part is, it should be about two inches. So maybe 20% or so. Um, <clears throat> when you are in class, the idea with the Cornell method is that you take notes here. It's, it's what you're listening to. It's what your teacher is saying. It's what they're, they're putting on the board. Um, and then over here, you come back to during your review and add some questions or further notes. And down here is a summary. So you look at all of your notes 
and then you summarize what's on this page. And it's, it's a really well organized system because um, <clears throat> it allows you, imagine you're taking an intro to psychology class and the chapter is 50 pages. Well, you don't want to review 50 pages before your test. Um, if you remember specific parts of, of the lesson by your sum, because of your summary, you don't have to study that section. Um, but if there's another section that you're like, ooh, I need to know this, you can make a, a note in your summary, study this, review this for the test, okay? Uh, again, in, in class, taking notes allows you to be an active listener. Diego, you said you listen for key ideas. Um, always use abbreviations and um, you know as long as it makes sense to you then it's then it's going to be useful this is a sample of an outline we're not going to spend time looking at an outline um, again knowing the teacher's presentation style is important and um, I'm going to jump ahead here another style is more graphic okay and and sometimes this style is useful and, and your style might have to change depending on the teacher. Um, and so anyway, um, the, me the method that we're gonna talk about today is the Cornell method. Um, <coughs> excuse me. If you want to read through this presentation, there's about 13 or 14 different slides, um, but I just wanted to kind of focus on the Cornell method for a few minutes and we're gonna, we're gonna practice this okay momentarily let me 